Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about Nigel Slater, Life is Sweets. Now when I saw this advertised on uh, Radio Times, I got really quite excited because I love Nigel Slater and I love programs that look at history and specifically the history of Britain, which this absolutely does. And I just want to say one thing, when this was on BBC, Toast was on straight after it, which is the film about Nigel Slater's life, and Helena Bonham Carter is in that, so go and watch it if you haven't. Basically this program does, with Nigel Slater, look at the history of the sweet and chocolate in Britain. And it takes us back to when the, the boiled sweet first came about and, you know, its initial medicinal purposes and how it wasn't just there for a sweet. And how sweets themselves have transformed over the years, how sweet shops have changed, and the way we look at sweets. And it's absolutely lovely. It's a history lesson on sweets. What more could you ask for? There are various different things which give us this information. It's not just this was a sweet, this is how it's changed. We get to see old adverts for sweets. And I, I love advertising. I think it's quite, it can be quite entertaining, especially some of the old adverts when they're not necessarily always politically correct. So that's very fascinating. We actually, Nigel Slater actually takes us into a sweet shop, an old-fashioned sweet shop, which is apparently the oldest sweet shop as it was, still in, is still open in the UK, which I thought was amazing. And I'd love to go and visit that just to say I've been in it. I love old-fashioned sweet shops. I just think they're, they're just little mini time capsules. As most of you will know, I'm a history nut, and I, I prefer the past to the present, to be honest. Uh, she's absolutely beautiful. Uh, he talks to Nigella Lawson as well, which is nice to bring in somebody else. Very interesting that they've done that, that they've brought in another chef. Um, Nigella Lawson is obviously fantastic. Uh, the rapport between the two of those is brilliant. And she gives quite an, an interesting look as well. And what specifically her input was to add to the emotional aspect of this, because they look at not just how the sweets have changed, but the memories that come with them. And I think you'll all agree with me that there are sweets from your childhood, or even present day, that kind of evoke certain emotions uh, and memories. For me, this is a really, really random thing, but when I was in year three, so I would have been eight, I had a bag of monkey nuts. You know what monkey nuts are, they're weird, they're like rock solid in the taste of toffee. And I remember getting a bag of those in a little paper bag, and I, I also bought a, my, my French dictionary and a beginner's French book, because we were learning French at school. I spent six years there after learning German, I can't remember any of the French. But whenever I see those monkey nuts or taste them, I just instantly go back to sitting in my bedroom, bag of monkey nuts, with my, my new French books. And that's wonderful. Sweets do for me have a lot of memories, and, that, and that's one of the main focuses of this. It's not just how the sweets have changed, but the role they play. And also it looks at the benefits of sweets. It does obviously point out the flaws, the fact that they're full of sugar and they'll wreck your teeth. It's not just saying sweets are amazing, let's go and get ourselves high on sugar. But it does look at the benefits and how it teaches children to share and it teaches them to learn about money when they're taking their pocket money to buy sweets and things. Which I never really thought of that before. So it really looks at all sorts of these lovely little angles and it's just absolutely fantastic. It's an absolute nostalgia fest. Looking at all these sweets is just brilliant. There are not many old fashioned sweet shops now. Sweets now are really odd. I'm not a big sweet fan to be honest. I, I do like chocolate. Of course I do, but as far as hard boiled sweets and jelly sweets, I'm not that bothered. But as a child, of course pick and mix was my highlight of my day. I absolutely loved them, you know. So it's, it's just nostalgia, but it's also quite amusing and entertaining. There are certain moments where you'll find yourself laughing. Didn't expect that at all. So many different things going on there, loads of different angles they're looking at. It's just flawless. Uh, the scripted sections are brilliant, the look at the sweet shop, the adverts the different sweets, the emotional benefits, the, the impact that they have on even day-to-day -day life. Nigella Lawson has a couple of interesting stories which are worth um, paying attention to. Absolutely fantastic. Nigel Slater I love, but Life is Sweets is just amazing. I mean, anybody could have presented this, but the fact that it's, it's Nigel Slater makes it a little bit more um, special, I guess. But please feel free to leave comments and thoughts on this, and just for a bit of fun, let me know what your favourite sweets are. Um, your favourite childhood sweets or your favourite sweets now. Obviously in the UK we're getting this massive infiltration of American sweets, which is awesome, but it does mean that children's memories of sweets are going to be slightly different. Like I have younger siblings, my brother and sister are 10 and 7. They don't really eat pick and mix sweets. It's not really the same as what it was for 90s, 80s, 70s, yada yada. Um, so it's a shame that sweets don't really have the same impact or benefits, I guess, as, you know, it's like, oh here, I have a Hershey's bar of chocolate. It's not going to teach anybody to share, because you're going to keep that thing for yourself, aren't you? Whereas if you have a bag of um, licorice torpedoes, you're going to share them out. 
I uh, don't know why I said licorice torpedoes. I think they're my granddad's favourite. I'm not sure. But let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.